Hi, this is Anita from Reluctant Low Carb Life. If you've been listening to my podcast, you know that we are sort of big about three things here at Reluctant Low Carb Life. We believe in the approach or what we call the trifecta of health, which basically is eating foods that help you feel full or satiety, eating fresh foods, and also fitness. So we sort of believe that you should incorporate those three things in your life, that basically we as human beings are made to have these three things in our life. You notice that nowhere does it say all type processed foods or nowhere does it necessarily say just eating completely low carb. Even though I do eat very much low carb, I also believe that, you know, there are times where maybe you don't eat low carb. You know, so I believe in us having a good relationship with food itself. That's why this is called the reluctant low carb life. Because even though low, low carb's huge and keto's huge and all of these things, I become a great believer in having a better relationship with food for myself that I need to look at food in this way. I need to look at fresh food, I need to look at food that helps me feel full, and I need to look at fitness. And those are three things in my life that we can all do. Every one of us can do, no matter what your age is, no matter what your circumstances in life, those are three things that you can do to look at in your life. I want to talk a little bit about uh, satiety and, and explain why I'm a great believer in it. And I want to talk about a new app that I've been recently using. I first you know, heard about this app a couple months ago. I was first a little bit reluctant and I thought, oh, I don't know. But the other day I decided to try it and I've really, really enjoyed it and enjoyed its technology. The app is called Hava, H-A-V-A dot C-O. And one of the great things about Hava is that with Hava, you can take a photo of your food and then it will basically pretty much tell you, you know, what um, are the, you know, the calories in the food and what the satiety score is for the food itself. Sometimes it gets it right. Sometimes it gets it wrong. I've had some of my, you know, spinach soup, smoothies come out as pea soup. And, you know, so, you know, it doesn't always, the photos don't always quite get it right. But a lot of times it gets it pretty close. So it really is a very easy and efficient way to be able to record down what you're eating and look at your foods every single day. So why, you might say, why, why satiety? Why look at satiety? Well, satiety is about being satisfied. It's about being full. It's about using the foods to help you manage your hunger. You know, um, a lot of times, you know, people, they, they gain weight and have other health issues, not because they're maybe not eating, you know, maybe, maybe because they're essentially eating the wrong things. They're eating foods that make them continue to feel hungry time and time again. They're not looking at the satiety of the food. They're not looking at whether this full food is going to help me feel full. On the Hava app, they basically have given this, this, they've been basically, they've given each food a score somewhere between zero to 100. If you decide to eat a candy bar, that's a zero. You know, a lot of cookies are zero. Um, a lot of other foods are zero, one or two. The other, you know, ones that are really high that I found would be things like spinach. Spinach and green leafy vegetables are extremely high. Some of the meat can be a little bit more in the middle. You know, research has shown that specific food quality, such as the protein content, the energy density, fiber, and then what Hava also calls the the hedonic factor, which strongly predicts how satisfying the food will be, can really have, you know, can really, really affect your health and affect, you know, how satisfied or how healthy you will be. So if you can start focusing in your life on foods that will give you more satiety, in other words, they will give you protein, they will give you energy, they will give you fiber, and they will, you know, basically be satisfying for you then you, know, you can improve your overall diet and quality. And it will also help you have a better relationship with food. I've noticed since using this app myself that I, I'm actually, I actually have quite a better relationship with food. I think a little differently about food. I think like, oh my goodness, I need to you know, add some more greens in there. I need to add some more uh, vegetables in there. I need to add some more protein in there. It's really helped me to be able to think a little different with food. So you might ask yourself, well, what exactly is satiety? You know, satiety might sound like a complex term and it might sound like a very fancy word, um, but it's a simple concept that most are familiar with. 
It's the sensation of feeling full and satisfied after a meal. It's not like you've, you know, meal like you've overeaten and you're about ready to throw up and you got to go lie down like you just ate a huge Thanksgiving feast or something like that. That is not what satiety is about. Satiety is about that you're eating, you feel full, you feel satisfied, you you feel like um, you've eaten enough that you don't need to reach for more food. It's understanding and proprietorizing society in our diets can be a game changer for managing hunger, weight, and overall health. I have found this too myself. Like, you know, sometimes when I eat a, like a good meal that I feel satisfied for hours and I don't feel hungry again, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have those cravings. The cravings have stopped going away. They, you know, I've stopped having these, you know, insatiable cravings where you feel like you've got to grab something or run for, you know, run for something that's unhealthy. That's why one of the worst things you can do, and I know for me, because I've been there myself and I've done it, is to go shopping on an empty stomach. You know, I go to the grocery store and it's like, I'm going to buy groceries. And before you know it, oh, and there I'm buying, I'm going, you know, heading to the bakery section or I'm heading to where the cookies are or I'm heading to where, you know, the chocolate is, you know, because you just feel so hungry, you start making these bad choices. It's the same thing with like satiety. When you eat and you're full, then you don't, you don't grab for these bad choices all the time because you're feeling satisfied and you're feeling full. Well, you might ask yourself, well, why does satiety matter? It's crucial because it directly influences how much we eat. Consuming foods that make us feel full makes us less likely to overeat and snack unnecessarily. That's one of the main things, that if you eat foods that help you feel full, then you don't need to constantly be snacking. Face it, most of us that grab the snacks, you know, we're, we're grabbing something that's unhealthy. Why do you think when you go to the grocery stores or you go into a Walgreens, or you go into some other place that they're putting all those snacks and those goodies right there by the cash register, you know, when you're ready to check out and you start grabbing them there. They do that on purpose because they know that you are going to start grabbing it and buying it. You know, that's why they put things at the end of aisles. They put them there because they want you to grab them. They put them where you're going to walk past. And especially if you go in to a store and you're hungry, your defenses get down and then you start buying all this stuff and then you bring it home with you. And then you say, oh my goodness, now that I bought it, now I got to eat it. You know, I'm sure there's others out there that might be smiling and saying, I've done that too. Yes. You know, that's why if you start eating for satiety, you start eating to make you feel full, you should not be tempted as much to go down that rabbit hole as I'm sure Maybe others out, of, out there that have been listening have gone through that same one too. I know that I have. So satiety really can help you with your weight management and can prevent this constant hunger and eating, which can lead to weight gain and other health issues. You know, that's why if you've ever, um, you know, eaten like a McDonald's hamburger, let's say you're hungry, you go through McDonald's, you eat the McDonald's hamburger, and then within one or two hours, you're feeling hungry again. You know, because the satiety score of that is very low. On the other hand, if you have like a nice chicken breast and asparagus, your satiety score would be relatively decent high, decent and high. And you will feel full longer if you eat the chicken breast and the asparagus than you would if you went and ate the McDonald's hamburger. It is just the difference between the satiety and, you know, essentially to the quality of the food that you are eating. So if you're looking for a great way to be able to measure your satiety for your food, we would highly recommend the Hava app. Now, I get nothing from Hava. I am not an affiliate with them. I, um, I'm, just, I'm just a user of their app. So this is just my own personal recommendation. But I really, really do like their app. It's a great app. It can um, you can download it on your iPhone. They'll give you seven days free. If you um, go to my website, there's a link that will take you to to Hava, and you know really help you to be able to think of food differently. It will help you to be able to score the food between zero to a hundred, and you know, try to get somewhere each day between forty to sixty. That is, that's you know kind of a good measurement to have. They recommend that the first week. You know, don't try to change your diet at all. See where your diet is with the satiety. See how you're eating now, how high or low your score is. And then go from there and, you know, start making these small changes. 
you know, incremental changes, you know, just start making changes, a little bit of changes there. I started like, I started, you know, looking at first the first week and I thought, oh, some of these scores are kind of high. And then I started adding like more spinach into my diet and started adding more vegetables into my diet and started, you know, adding different things into my diet to be able to get the score to become higher. You can do exactly the same thing. You know, you can look at their app and you can start measuring it instead of, you know, looking at just calories or, or other things. It's really a great way to keep you accountable. I am a great believer. And those that have been listening to me that we should write down you know, or, you know, record what we eat. I think if we do that where we record what we eat, it helps us to become responsible for our food and for our food choices. So I'm a great believer in us recording it. And I really have enjoyed the Hava app because for me, it's been extremely easy to record. It hasn't been a, a big hassle or a big problem. And it's, you know, allowed me every day to be able to look at the score and to record it and say, hey, I did good today. And when those days when I do good, I feel good. I feel like, yeah, I did good today. So I think that, you know, there's there's some power in all of that. There's power in all of that and all of us understanding our, our choices. You know, the highest score that food can get is 100 and the lowest is zero. So, you know, try to be have a balanced approach. It's all about balanced eating. And that's really what we are here at Reluctant Low Carb Life. We're about balanced eating. We're about, you know, eating fresh foods, foods that help you feel full of satiety and by fitness and exercise. You know, satiety is not purely subjective or uh, genetically predetermined. Research has shown that specific food qualities such as protein content, your energy density, fiber, and what, you know, Hava calls the, the um, hedonic factor strongly predicts how um, satiating a food will be or how satisfying a food will be. You know, these factors, you know, explain why certain foods help us feel full longer and others and why other foods do not. This is all about, you know, incorporating these, you know, feelings of feeling full and, um, you know, um, satisfied or satiated in your, your diet and food choices. You know, you know, lower foods, you know, definitely can lead to consumption. If you, if you are, um, you know, looking at foods that, you know, to have a lower score is going to definitely lead for you to have more consumption of those foods. You're going to need more of those foods for you to feel satisfied than foods that give you a higher score. So by you know, taking this approach to eating, and this is one reason why we love this, is fits right into our trifecta of health, of eating foods that are fresh and help you feel full. Because to be honest with you, in order for you to get a higher score on the satiety index, you need to be eating foods that are fresh foods. You're not going to get a really high score if you're going to eat all junk food. It is just not going to happen. And especially if you're honest with your recordings, it is not going to happen. You need to really eat foods that are fresh. So we love this approach because it fits right into where our own trifecta of health was. And, and it's, a great, it's a great tool to be able to help you there. We have written a blog entitled Satiety Approach to Eating, Hava.co Review. And we'll put a link in the description for that blog so you'll be able to find it. And from there, you'll be able to get onto the Hava a website. Like I said, we are not an affiliate of Ahava, so that we earn no money off of recommending them at all. We get absolutely nothing out of this. All we do is just get the satisfaction of knowing that we have been able to recommend to you a product that we believe in and one that we believe will help you. And that's really why I'm recommending them because I believe in them and I believe in their product. And I've used the product myself now for quite a few weeks, and I've really loved it and enjoyed it. And in fact, I've recommended it to quite a few different people because I've said, hey, check this out. I really like this approach to eating. And um, you know, so I've been recommending it around to people too because I've, I've really appreciated them and their approach to eating. So if you get a chance, you know, go there and check it out. Check out their blog. Um, check out, they have some podcasts and also check out some of their YouTube and learn a little bit more about the approach that we're about here a Reluctant Low Carb Life, which is about eating with satiety or eating foods that help you feel full and eating fresh foods. Now, those of you that are out there might be thinking like, isn't she a little over the top about this? She gets so excited about this, about fresh foods and satiety eating and all these things. Well, the truth of the matter is, is that I'm a great believer in this because I have personally seen the change of this in my own lifetime. You know, I, I feel very, very fortunate to have been 
you know, born and raised in a family where my parents very early on believed in this. In fact, a lot of people thought maybe they're a little bit weird. I remember my dad going down to the co-op and, you know, in downtown Milwaukee and getting all these fresh grains and, and other things and, you know, them grinding their own wheat and making their own yogurt and their own bread and, you know, canning their own vegetables, growing their own food in the garden. But they, they were always kind of great believers in this from the beginning. They really believed in the fact that we needed fresh foods. And, and you know, at the time, too, it was actually cheaper to eat that way than to go out and eat all these ultra-processed foods. Well, the food companies that are over profit from health have really made sure to make it opposite. In fact, they've made it so now it's much cheaper to buy ultra-processed foods than to buy fresh foods. You know, if you go to the grocery store and you buy a bunch of packaged ultra-processed foods, no doubt your grocery bill will be less than if you go out and buy fresh foods. And that's really quite a sad state that we are in these days, that for people's health is about profits over people's health, profits over people. And I really am a great believer that if we can somehow get back to the way that was, even if you grow a few herbs on the balcony if you live in the city, even if you grow a few things, go to a farmer's market, um, you know, try to get a plot of land where you can grow some of your own things. Somehow, if you can get back to this world again of being able to realize and understand that there's a whole you know, there's a whole world of out there eating fresh, of eating whole foods, of eating the way we used to always eat, that you will feel better and that you will feel healthier. And that's really at the core of what all the satiety eating is about. It's really, it's nothing new. It's, it's not any type of new way of eating or any type of new way of thinking about eating. It's the way humans have lasted and existed for hundreds and hundreds of years. It's only been the last 20 or 30 years that we in our Western world have corrupted it as we've been eating more foods that are made in a laboratory than a food that is grown into the ground. And that really is at the core of all of this is the fact that we instead have been eating food which is more in the laboratory than in the ground. So we need to get back to thinking about how can we start eating fresh foods again? How can we make fresh foods become a part of our everyday life? And if we do that, then we will be healthier and I believe also happier individuals because it does affect not only our physical health, but also our mental health. Now, I am not a doctor. I am not a dietitian. I am just a human being. So anything I say here, you can take it for what it is worth for yourself, but I basically have a disclaimer that I am not a doctor or a dietitian. What I'm telling you here is just for my own opinion and my own way of thinking, but I am a great believer in those three th things that we need to do, which is eat fresh, eat foods that help us feel full, and have fitness be a part of our life and who we are. And if we do that, then I believe all of our lives will be better. And that doesn't mean that you never eat any ultra-processed foods again. You never go through a fast food restaurant again. You never go out to a restaurant again. That is not what I'm advocating or saying here. We all have to live in this world. And sometimes you will have to eat fast food or sometimes you will have to eat uh, you know, out in a restaurant or go out with friends and you'll eat food in a restaurant. That's okay. That's not what I'm saying here is that you don't that you stop living your life, but you you just work to make the best choices you can. And that's why I love the Hava app so much. Because the Hava app doesn't tell you you can't eat this or you can't eat that. You can eat whatever you want to eat. All it would do is give you a score for the satiety. And then you can look at that score and maybe you say, oh, my score is a little low today. Maybe I should eat something better for dinner, which will help bring that score up. Maybe instead for dinner, I should look to have that tofu and spinach, or maybe I should look to have the chicken breast and asparagus, or you know, maybe I should eat something that is going to help me feel full longer for dinner. And, and that's what it's all about. It's about each one of us every single day learning to make new choices in life and making better choices in life. And that's what we advocate for. And that is why I'm so passionate about this, 
because I believe if we could just get that message out there and just get people to realize and see, hey, you know, you can eat fresh food. You, you, you can eat foods and those fresh foods will be better for you. And in the long run, they will taste better for you. And if we can get off of the junk food, get off of a lot of the multi-processed foods, how much healthier we will be as not only a, a nation, a world, or a group of people, we will be certainly far more healthier than what we are today if that if if the multi-processed foods and the foods that have the low satiety index are mainly what we're eating, if we could change our focus and try to eat just a little bit better every single day, how much better that will be for each and every one of us. And that's really what all of this is about. That is what I'm passionate about. That is what I love to do. And that is why I'm here today talking to you because of this passion and because of this belief that I have in this. I just really am believe, and I'm sort of an advocate in believing getting the word out there. You know, my relationship with food has not always been a good one, and I'll be the first one to admit that. But at the same time, I understand enough about myself and my relationship with food that I know that it's something that needed to be changed. And if you could find something that could help you change it, something like this Hava app, then use it. Try it. Try it out. See if it makes a difference. It may not make a difference for you, but certainly if you could start eating foods that give you more satiety and make you feel full longer, then you will. So go to their go to their website too, and you can go under where it says science, and they have a link there where you can put in a food, and then it will come up and tell you the score of the food and what the satiety index would be for the food. It's quite interesting to do that. It's quite interesting to see which ones have high scores, which ones have low scores, and it really helps you to maybe begin to rethink a little bit about your own way of eating, and that's what this is all about. Thank you so much for listening. This is Anita from Reluctant Low Carb Life. We really do appreciate you, our listeners, that um, listen to this. And I hope that you can gain the vision and have the passion like I have for this. Then we can all work to strive to change our life for the better by getting back to eating and living the way we are meant to eat and live, which basically is by eating fresh foods, foods that help us feel full longer, and by incorporating fitness as part of our life. I will put a link to that blog that I've written, Satiety Approach to Eating, hava.co review. And you can go on there and you can actually, um, if you go down towards the bottom there, you'll see a button which will take you to the Hava website. And you can go on there and explore their website and see all the great information they also have. Thank you so much for listening. We truly do appreciate you. Mm -hmm.